attack on Pearl Harbor left most of the U.S. Pacific Fleet at the bottom of Pearl Harbor and 2,400 dead. This left Japan unopposed to conquer and occupy most of the Pacific Rim. It took the better part of nine months for the U.S. to recover, stage, and begin its campaign to island hop on its way to the Japanese mainland. The first invasion was August 7, 1942 at Guadalcanal in the Solomon Islands. It was slow going and Guadalcanal was still being fought for six months later. Every code the military devised was quickly broken by the Japanese, costing thousands of American lives. The military decided to bring in a secret weapon, a weapon that the U.S. government had spent a century trying to obliterate. The Marines traveled to the northeast corner of Arizona to the Cayenta Navajo Reservation to seek that weapon. They came asking for the culture and the rich, unwritten language of the Navajo. Even though the government had treated the Navajo in a very uncivilized way, they stepped forward to serve their country in its time of need. Stepping forward to serve his country was a 19-year-old Navajo warrior named Samuel T. Holliday. He, along with 278 other Navajo men, were trained and deployed in the Pacific Theater of War as the Navajo Code Talkers. The speed and accuracy of their code was instrumental in the success of the Pacific Campaign and the saving of thousands of American soldiers' lives. Samuel was part of the invasions of Tinian, Saipan, Iwo Jima, and others. He distinguished himself in battle. He wears both the scars and the medals, testifying to his service to the free people of the United States. Only two years after the deployment of the Navajo Code Talkers, the success of the Pacific Campaign brought U.S. forces and aircraft to the doorstep of Japan. On September 2, 1945, they officially surrendered on the deck of the USS Missouri in Tokyo Bay. The Navajo Code was so successful that the U.S. government declared it top secret. It was never broken by the Japanese and remained secret until 1968. Samuel Holliday returned home sworn to secrecy about the service he gave to his country. The story of the Code Talker's contribution had to wait 23 years to be told. Finally, in 2000, he was awarded the Silver Congressional Medal. Samuel is now a father, grandfather, great-grandfather, and a highly respected elder of the Navajo Nation. In the summer of 2005, Mr. Holliday honored the Tribal Crossroads powwow by attending and being our honored elder. All who met him were struck by the graciousness of this American hero. He is ready to speak with and even sign an autograph for all who approach. Samuel and his daughter Helena were interviewed by WBKO-TV of Bowling Green and he was made their hometown hero in honor of his visit to the state of Kentucky. Mr. Holliday was made a Kentucky Colonel by Governor Fletcher and also awarded an honorary membership in the Kentucky National Guard by Colonel Rondell Turner. 